All right, so um, rotation. Um, a rotation is a transformation in which all points on the objects are, rot are rotated through the same angle in the same direction about a fixed point called the center of rotation. So a rotation is a transformation in which all points on the object are rotated through the same angle in the same direction about a fixed point called the center of rotation. All right, so this diagram here um, describes what happens in a rotation. All right, so um, you can see A, B, C is the object and A prime, B prime, C prime is the image. The direction of the rotation is um, anti-clockwise. The direction of the rotation is anti-clockwise. So the um, direction of rotation could either be clockwise or anti-clockwise. And um, I think that angle is what, phi, if I'm not mistaken. Phi is the angle of rotation. All right, so this is what a rotation looks like. All right, a rotation also is a congruent transformation. And that essentially means that both the object and the image are identical shapes. Both the objects and image are identical shapes. Let's talk about some features of a rotation. All right, so the features sort of go in line with the diagram. All right, so feature one from the diagram, O is the center of rotation. O is the center of rotation. Um, additionally, O, sorry, A, O, A prime, that angle there is the angle of rotation. A, O, A prime is the angle of rotation. What else? Um, B, B, O, B prime is the same angle. So that would be B, O, B prime. B, O, B prime is the same angle. And C, O, C prime is the same angles, same angle. So A, O, A prime is equal to B, O, B prime is equal to C, O, C prime is equal to phi, which is the angle of rotation. What else? In a rotation, each point on the object moves on the circumference of a circle um, of its own radius about the center of um, the center of rotation as center. So here's what this is saying: that in a rotation, A is going to move on this circle. In a rotation, A is going to move on this circle. So all the A's would be on that circle. A would be on it, A prime would be on it, A double prime would be on it. Um, B would move on this circle. All the B's would move on that circle. So in a rotation, each point on the object moves on the circumference of a circle of its own radius about the center of rotation as the center of the circle. So in other words, it's like somebody put a compass point at um, the metal tip of a compass at O, put the metal tip of a compass at O, put the pencil point at A and draws a circle. A, all the points connected to A would be on that circle. So both the object and the image point would be on that circle. So in a rotation, the points on the object move in a circle. The points on the object move in a circle. Are all points on the object, um, sorry, um, corresponding points on the object and image will be on the circumference of the same circle. That's what it's saying. In a rotation, corresponding points on the object and the image will be on the circumference of the same circle. All right, what else? Now in a rotation, points at the center of rotation are invariant. 
that is under rotation, a point at the center of rotation does not move. So um, you remember for reflection, um, a point that is on the cent at the um, on the mirror line would not move. So that point on the mirror line would be both the object and the image. Now in a rotation, points at the center of rotation do not move. So if a point is at the center of rotation, that point is both object and image. Let's have a look at an example. Example, I'm not, I'm not so certain, but I think this could be example five. Example five, it says um, A, draw triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of triangle A, B, C under an anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. All right, so let's get to that. All right, so um, to the left, um, we have the diagram that we're going to do the rotation on. Now to the right, what we have is what the finished diagram should look like. What we have is what the finished diagram should look like. So we could talk about the finished diagram a little later, but let's go to the diagram on the left in which we're going to do the actual rotation. All right. Now, so the first thing we're asked to do is we're asked to rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees in an anticlockwise um, direction. We're asked to rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees in an anticlockwise direction. All right, now, um, the first thing, oh, so um, a couple of things. Um, the direction, anti-clockwise. The center is the origin. And um, the angle of rotation is 90 degrees. So the first thing, whenever you're describing a rotation, a rotation has three components. Um, there is the direction of rotation, the center of rotation, and the angle of rotation. Um, the easiest type of rotations to do are 90 degrees, 180 degrees and 270 degree rotations. Those are the easiest type of rotations to do. Um, any other form of rotation would require the use of a compass. Any other angle would require the use of a compass or matrices, all right, in order to accomplish it. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, this is sort of like an illustration of the movement from the center of rotation to A. All right. And it's not so steady. So the, here is the center. This is two units, and this is one unit. This would be the point A. That would be the point A. Now, if I rotate this in an anticlockwise direction, 90 degrees, the horizontal two is going to become vertical, and the vertical one is going to become horizontal. And this would be the new position of A, and this would be A prime. Now, this is going to be two here and one here. If I rotate, let's say that L that connects um, A to the center of rotation. So it is what, um, two horizontal, one vertical. When I rotate that 90 degrees, it's gonna become two vertical, one horizontal. Now, whenever you rotate, um, if you can look at, the, look at the diagram, you'll see quadrants. Every single time you rotate, um, whenever you rotate um, a point, in a 90 degrees, 
it moves from one quadrant to the next quadrant. So right now, if I view this as the what? The first, second, third, and the fourth quadrant, if I rotate A, which is in the fourth quadrant, it's going to end up, um, it's going to end up in the second quadrant. So two, one, which gets me two horizontal, one vertical, is going to become two vertical, one horizontal. This would be the new position of A. And this would be, this would be A prime. That would be A prime. Now, from the center to C, it's going to be, all right, I'm going to erase where that A prime is. No, but it's there. From the center to C, it's four horizontal, one vertical. If I rotate that 90 degrees in an anticlockwise direction, it's going to become four vertical, one horizontal. This will be the new position of C. This is C prime. Finally, from the center to B, it is two horizontal, four vertical. If I rotate it 90 degrees in an horizontal, in an anticlockwise direction, it's going to become two vertical, four horizontal. This would be the new position of B. This would be B prime. Once I've rotated all four vertices, all we have to do is connect them with our ruler. So I said four. Once I rotate all three vertices, all I need to do is to connect them with my ruler. All right. So A, B, C is the object, and A prime, B prime, C prime is the image. Now, I want everybody who has this document to do the same thing I just did. If you have the document, do the same thing I just did. So this is A prime. I want you to do the same thing I just did. All right, so um, let us rotate um, A prime, B prime, C prime a further 90 degrees. Um, what else about that? So now, um, I'm going to rotate um, A prime, B prime, C prime, a further 90 degrees in the same direction. All right? So that would be equivalent of rotating A prime, B prime, C prime, 90 degrees about the center as, or, of, or, as origin. Or the two 90 degree rotation would be, um, a, would be a 180 degree rotation for A, B, C. All right? So. Let's do it. Um, the same principle from the center to A, it is two vertical, one horizontal. When I rotate it, the two vertical, one horizontal, two, the two vertical, one horizontal, two, one is going to become two horizontal, one vertical. So it's two, one. So two horizontal, one vertical. This would be the new position of A. I would call it A double prime. From the center to C, it's four vertical, one horizontal. If I rotate it 90 degrees in a anti-clockwise direction, it's going to be four horizontal, one vertical, this would be the new position of C. This would be C double prime. Finally, from the center to B prime, it's two vertical, um, four horizontal. If I rotate it 90 degrees, 
um, it's going to become um, two horizontal, four vertical. This would be the new position of B. This would be B double prime. All right. And of course, we'd complete the diagram by um, connect using a ruler to connect all three vertices. All right, I need for you guys to try the same thing. All right, so to complete this diagram, I'm going to rotate A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, a further 90 degrees in an anti-clockwise direction. Um, from the center to A double prime, it's um, two horizontal, one vertical. If I move, if I push that now 90 degrees, push that L 90 degrees, it's going to become two vertical, one horizontal. This would be the new position of A. I'm going to call this A triple prime. Now from the center to C, it's um, four horizontal, one vertical. Um, then I'm going to what rotate that 90 degrees. It's going to become what four vertical, one horizontal. This would be the new position of C. This would be C triple prime. And finally, from the center to A, it's two horizontal, four vertical. If I rotate it 90 degrees, it's going to become what? Two vertical, four horizontal. This would be the new position of B. This would be B triple prime. Then to complete the diagram, all I need to do is to connect the vertices using my pencil and ruler. All right. So what I just did is I rotated. Um, the equivalent rotation here is that I rotated. I rotated um, triangle ABC three times. First, 90 degrees. Um, then um, a further 90 degrees and then a further 90 degrees. All right, so I rotated it um, three times 90 degrees about the center in an anticlockwise direction about the center, about the origin as the center. Now, um, I could say that A double prime, um, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime would be the image of A, B, C under a 180 degree um, rotation. And A triple prime, B double triple prime, C double, um, C triple prime would be the image of A, B, C under a 270 degree rotation. So diagrams one is a 90 degree rotation. Diagram two would be um, the image for a 180 degree rotation and diagram three would be the image for a 270 degree rotation all right so um, i just want everybody to complete the diagram now i'm sure you can imagine if you look at the diagram at the bottom you can see that all the a's would be on the circumference of the same circle so a a prime a double prime a triple prime all the A's would be on the circumference of the same circle. All the B's would also be on the circumference of the same circle. It means that um, the distance from O to A, from the center to A, center to A prime, center to A double prime, center to A triple prime, all those distances are equal because they would be radii of the same circle. So in a rotation, um the object and the image object and image of the same point is on the circumference of the same circle with the center of rotation as the center of the circle all right so that concludes this activity